Well, hello there, YouTubers. It is I, the one, the only, and I do mean only, big, and I do mean big D, coming to you live in person. Been asked about securing freight. Well, I'm going to show you how we do that. At least how I do it. But, uh, you can see there's an automotive skid in here. There's two. They're stacked on top of each other. Picked up in Laredo. Dropped off in Laredo. Had an issue. I had a, uh, looked like maybe a pop ribbon or something in the corner of the tire somewhere about right in there. And, uh, it was on the inside part of the tire, though. But, uh, anyway, I just replaced the two new rear tires on it because they were pretty worn down. And I just didn't feel they were really worth, you know, $35 to repair it. Just throw it off and get two new ones. Put it towards the price of the new ones. $422 for two new tires on the back. And, uh, away we go. Now, before we get any further, I'm out of Bucky's here in Texas. Now, I've been asked several times, you know, why I don't answer questions quickly. Uh, why I don't do videos all the time and blah, blah, skippy. Well, the reason being is, I'll give you an example. Uh, I left uh, Muscle Shoals, went up uh, top of Michigan, dropped off, drove up there all night, got up there, uh, drove over, picked up out of Grand Rapids, took that to uh, Bowling Green, picked up outside Bowling Green, went to Laredo, and uh, I was in Laredo for about an hour and a half and got this load here. Now, this delivers Sunday, so I'm in no hurry today. <laughs> so I'm doing a video. I can take my time. I'll be over there about midnight. It's a Sunday delivery, so, pff, you know. But uh, anyway, um, you can see they've stacked them in there. And I've got them strapped down. Now, I got one strap across. The it's, it's only 300 pounds. This is not heavy. I got one strap from that D-ring going over to that deer so this isn't going to move and i got a strap going across the top it's a little crooked here it doesn't really matter because that's just keeping it from sliding if it did slide it's just going to slide up into the bunk but uh that's all i've done there that's it they loaded it a little crooked but yeah who cares <laughs> uh, it'll come off that's as simple as it gets there's D-rings, there's one down under here. I can find it. Right there. Oops. And there's one over there. And I just hooked to those D-rings and crisscross it. Now I am gonna get some easy track in here. I've already got the clips. What these will do on the easy track will clip into the easy crap there and there. And I'll put a two by four between these two in here. And the one that'll go over there on the easy track, it'll clip in and it'll keep it from sliding forward. That's all that does. So I'm gonna get some easy track for that. But uh, you can see the bunks made up, strap on the floor. Slept 12 hours yesterday, I was tired. I'm gonna do about 4,300 miles this week when this is delivered, about 4,300. But uh, anyway, you can see the skid in there. It's only 300 pounds. And I lift the curtains up so I can see out the back when I'm driving. Just... Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why haven't you? Why would you like the channel? Why don't you get the bell dingy? I'm trying to give the information you need out here. But uh, for the most part, it's been a pretty busy week out here, folks pretty busy with van needs a bath i was going to give it one laredo but i wasn't there long enough so you can see gas down here is 385 <laughs> yeah and this is bucky's and it's huge you can see the gas pumps there the gas pumps there there's gas pumps on the other side there's gas pumps everywhere but for the most part that's it that's all you have to do to strap these things down and if i do something differently in strapping it i will do a video on it there's several ways to secure freight. And a lot of it's going to depend on the weight 
than what it looks like, the size, how it's going to be done. Um, it's not sure this. I mean, this here is just a floating piece of wood. This is not attached down in any way, shape, or form. I don't need it to be strapped down. So, because A, you're going to drill it into this metal. If there's a problem, this is going to rip those screws right out here like a, like a zipper. Zip out is going to come anyway. So if I put Easy Track down, you know, I'll probably put a piece here, a piece there, right up in those corners. I'll put a piece there and there. And I will do that on the sides. Little short pieces up, up, up. And then just lock it down and put boards in there to basically to keep that from moving forward. That's all that easy track's going to do there. And you can get the clips on it to put on there to attach D-rings to add your straps to. So if I need another place, I can do it there. But I'm always going to attach to these hard points too. There and there. Those will always be used because these are going to the frame. So you want to actually, if you're going to use Easy Track, attach somewhere to the frame because Easy Track can come up. So if you have to, you know, Easy Track is not the answer. You can see these here. In case you're wondering what this is, and they don't generally do it, but I'll show you. <sighs> okay, I gotta move this down, but here you go. These, these totes are actually clipped for the belt to keep them from moving around. And as you can see, they don't use them. I prefer to latch them. And that, that's just to keep them out so they don't move around. So I'm going to latch this one over here too. But uh, automotive freight, you'll see this. And this is what these straps are for. Is when they stack them, you can do this. Okay. Ah, we go. There we go. So you can see those straps are on there. That's just to keep them from sliding around. Now, you'll notice two by fours around here. You can put a two by four on this too. They've strapped them here. And here. So you can put a two by four on it. And uh, there's actually straps here on the sides that you can bring them up with that strap there. Strapping it down. I don't need it. It's not going anywhere. So I'm not worried about it. But that's just how it'll look in your van. And uh, I got plenty of room here before the bed, as you can see. And this is why we tell you the tallest, the longest you can get. Uh, because as you can see how they stack these up, they will stack these up almost to the height of that door. And this is the high top. So if you can see those two latches to the corner of this here top and this high top, I'll show you back there. They will do this. And they will take, now this is considered two skids. <laughs> well, you can see the size of these skids. They'll stack, you know, one, two. You see where this is here? Right in here. Okay, they can stack these actually to the bottom of this pillar here. So they will stack them up to here, this height. You can see how much more distance they have. This is why we tell you the high top. So they could actually put another stack on, or four of these size on here and give you eight of them. And if you don't have the high top, they won't fit in. And you will see them doing a lot of this, and you're going to see more of it because of cost of freight They're trying to get everything they can on your van to save them money so the height you don't want the mid rough you want the high top some people say oh it's perfect i do this i do that what they don't tell you is what they miss and that's what you don't see in other words the loads you weren't allowed to bid on because your van wouldn't haul it so this is big d saying like the channel, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more information like this and why coming to you soon. But for today, I'm gonna to be driving. That's automotive freight. You should be able to distinguish it really easy because those are automotive totes.
So uh, I'm gonna run into Bucky's, get something to munch on, and uh, head back out on the road later.